Good afternoon, everyone. CO2 trails temperature, we forget that so easily. Back to climate gate, recent warmth was probably matched a thousand years ago and then children playing with crayons on this temperature chart, but this is the Greenland ice core data set. What a disconnect. I thought I'd start you off here with CO2 trailing temperatures. We can see this for the last 450,000 years, but somehow in the last 40 years, it's flipped on the narrative. Somehow the science magically flipped after 450,000 years. Oh wait, maybe they're telling you the wrong thing at the IPCC, because looking back at climate gate in the medieval warming period, this is one of the emails here, stating that they're not so sure that unusual warming is really happening in summer responsive data. Looks like the medieval warming period a thousand years ago was very similar to today. Let's take a look at the Greenland Ice Core Survey Project, otherwise known as the gold standard for climate and temperature reconstruction on our planet, GISP2. Now you notice in the red right there where it says medieval warming period, you notice how that's warmer than today's temperatures. Yet somehow this debunked Maricot 2013 children scratching with a crayon on this climate reconstruction is still making the rounds. In my opinion, it's purposeful deception by putting this out into social media streams. And even when we look at University of Alabama Huntsville temperatures, 0.34 above the baseline. Let's put these side by side. Gold standard GISP2 temperature reconstruction of our Earth for the last 10,000 years right on the top. Markings with crayon in blue on the bottom. There sure are a lot of peaks left out, especially when you're going left on the chart back from the present day where the blue crayon mark is. Through the last 2,000 years, oops, they missed several heat spikes. I wonder if that was on purpose. And during these uncertain times, climate manipulation manipulated data through government agencies to try to mask the cooling on our planet. How prepared are you for food shortages and food scarcity and food price rises? Are you protecting your own food supply? My Patriot Supply long-term food storage and items that help you prepare your own food for long-term food storage both in one place my patriot supply forward slash prepare with adapt 2030 and remember every purchase helps keep adapt 2030 on air and you bring in information just like this so you can prepare for the changes the link is in the description box below just click and go the government will help you do is ridiculous stuff like this a 1% surcharge added on to the restaurant bills in California. Apparently, this is going to go to the California Air Resources Board to be spent on worthy projects with no oversight. Nice. You mean all that tax money gets funneled into somewhere where they're not going to do auditing on it because it's a separate sideboard taking care of all the worthy projects? Yeah, that's great. That's just like the Global Tax They Want Institute going into the IPCC or the UN fund that have, well, have no culpability, no auditing. Exact same thing. It's on a very minor scale. I think they might be beta testing this to see if anybody will really ask where the money goes, if it ever does get collected, all based on the false premise of global warming. And remember, when you see record snow across the Northern Hemisphere for the second year in a row in the same months, breaking all-time records for snowfall, and somebody tries to tell you, well, it's because of warming oceans, just say, well, the oceans were nearly as warm as they are today in 1998 and have kept the same trajectory of heat up until today, but we're only starting to get the snow these years, right now with the intensification of the grand solar minimum. What happened in 1998? What happened in the year 2000, 2004, 5, 6, 10? None of the snows until this year, last year. Gee, what flip do you think? The sun. The onset of the grand solar minimum. And unusual lights in the sky. Well, this is rocket testing with barium and other types of chemicals known as rocket-borne experiments. Special chemicals, well... They're never going to tell you what those are, but Jim Lee at ClimateViewer.com goes into great detail about ionospheric heaters, geophysical warfare, and what all those little colored dots in the sky mean. This is a must-watch video, and also I did a two-hour interview with Jim last year. It's in the playlist below. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you got something out of it. 
Things are exponentially changing right now in our weather systems, climate patterns across the planet. Delayed planting, late season blizzards, frozen orchards and damaged fruit everywhere you look, northern and southern hemisphere. If you're looking for more information on the changes in the timelines moving out, mini Ice Age Conversations podcast, 30 minutes on the go, anywhere you can find a podcast hosted across the net, iTunes and Libsyn. Please download it from Libsyn. You can get subscribed there with no censorship.